Hey guys, so today I'm filming my nail polish video. The main reason why I'm filming this video is because I just got a nail rack. Um, so I got a nail polish holder uh, rack that I was able to find online. I have been searching for them for a while, but they were just so expensive. Um, like the cheapest one I found was like $30 and it was like you had to build it yourself. And anyways, I ended up very, very lucky stumbling across um, a post on Kijiji, which is basically like Craigslist. I'm not sure if Kijiji is like a international website or if it's just like a Canadian thing. Um, but I found a seller that was selling the nail polish racks for only $15, like one buy, $15. And I thought it was too good to be true. I actually kind of thought maybe it was like some sort of trap where like this guy was making these nail polish racks and he was like luring girls into his home. But it turns out he actually was just making and selling nail polish racks. So I have a beautiful nail polish rack, which looks exactly like the ones that they're charging on um, websites for like $60, $70. That was only $15. So super awesome find. If you live in the Toronto um, and surrounding GTA area and you're interested in purchasing one, I can give you the name of the seller if you're interested. Um, so just send me a message. Um, so I'm going to show you my nail polish collection. If you're interested, then stay tuned. So this is where I keep my nail polish rack. Um, I don't have it mounted. I prefer to just have it on the floor. Um, and I just keep it next to kind of like my, I call it my beauty bookshelf, which, which just has like my palettes and some perfume and stuff on it. Um, yeah, if this one holds 60 nail polishes. Um, so yeah, and I, I just preferred it on the ground because it was, I'm clumsy, so I was just scared that if it was mounted, somehow it would fall down or I'd just knock them off. So it's perfectly fine down here. So I'll just go through and show you all the colors. I don't know them all by heart, so you're gonna have to bear with me. Um, this one's just a L'Oreal French tip. White, this is China Glaze Lemon Fizz. This is uh, L'Oreal Versailles Romance, Sinful Colors Hazard, and Sinful Colors Boogie Nights. This is China Glaze Ruby Slipper, Elf, I think it's just pink, light pink. This is Completely in Love from the Kardashian Collection. Oh, I guess I could zoom in a little, shouldn't I? This is uh, OPI Pink Friday. This is Essie Vandigo. On to the second level, we have, um, this is Elf Coral, I think. Yeah, Elf Coral. OPI Party in My Cabana. Sinful Colors. I'm not sure what this is called. Pink Forever. Uh, Elf Gum Pink. This is OPI's Mod About You. Uh, OPI's Steady As She Rose. China Glaze Lilacism. Revlon Starry Night, which as you can see is half full. Not because I love it, but because it fell off my desk and splattered all over the floor. And it took me two hours to get the glitter off of my hardwood floor. So that was awesome. Um, this is Urban Outfitters Purple Number no. 7. This is China Glaze Avalanche. Um, Wet n Wild Grey's Anatomy. OPI. This is a new one that I just got. Evening Seduction. This is Essie Mint Candy Apple. L'Oreal's Club Privé. Uh, Essie Turquoise and Caicos for Audrey. Um, I want to be a lone star. Um, this is the Justin Bieber's baby, baby, baby blue. That's what it's called. Um, then down here we have uh, China Glaze Flying High, China Glaze Frostbite, um, OPI Russian Navy, L'Oreal Gracian Goddess Rimmel Steel Gray, uh, Essence Stay with the Night, Essie Topless and Barefoot, Revlon Nude Cheek. Um, Ulta, this one, I don't know what it's called. Gentle Ginger. <laughs> I don't know why I find that so funny. Um, this is China Glaze from the Hunger Games collection. It is in Dress Me Up. Sally Hansen Fedora, China Glaze, Hunger Games, um, Fast Times. Ulta Brands, Chic Peak. Uh, Urban Outfitters, I don't know what this is called. Sparkle White number two. This is a China Glaze glitter in Fairy Dust. This is um, OPI Katy Perry Teenage Dreams. This one is MAC. Does it have a name? I don't think this... Do these nail lacquers have names? Oh yeah, it does on the bottom. Bad Fairy. Oh, this is from the Disney collection, actually. Um, this one is... What is this one called? This is China Glaze Party Hardy. Um, this is, I think... What is this one called again? Yeah, Party 5 Glitters. Wet n Wild Sephora. I don't know what you're called. 
only gold for me top coat. Down here, um, this is Orly, Orly Rage. I don't know why I blanked on the name there. This is OPI. This one's from the Muppets collection, and it was called Warm and Fuzzy. And these are just my crackles. I have the white, the silver, the blue, the black, my Stetch Feet top coat, and this is a Sally's Beauty Supply nail hardener, which I don't typically recommend. Um, it was $3. This is really watery, so yeah, I'd skip out on that. So that is my nail collection. Um, my nail polish collection there and thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye